allergens. Hey everybody, welcome to Allergies Bites. But tastes good. Gluten free. So today... Sweet. Oh yeah, today we're making chocolates. That's awesome, you know why? Why? I binged on marshmallows, now I can binge on chocolate. <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So what we're going to do is, you know, you go to the store, you buy yourself a caramel bar. And they're so sweet. There's so much sugar packed into those things. And? <laughs> What's wrong with that? It's not great for you. <laughs> what we're going to do is we are making caramel from dates. Okay. And so we're not adding any sugar. We're using the date itself as the sugar. So and it is amazing. I can eat more of them then. No, you can't eat any of them. So, <laughs> man, I think. wish some of you guys lived closer. Then I could, like, hand them off. Oh no, I would eat them before you... <laughs> I'd bite you for them. <laughs> I probably would. So come on in, let's get our caramels going. Awesome. So we've got our Medjool dates here. Medjool. Yeah. And uh, I've pitted them, and I've opened them up, and I've put them in boiling water. And you need four and a half ounces of dates. Okay. You, can, you don't have to use these kind, you can use the kinds that are already pitted. Mm. And just put them in four and a half ounces, boiling water, and let's sit between five to eight minutes. Okay. And first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take them out. And how much water do you boil them in? You don't boil them in water, you put boiling water on them. And how much boiling water? <laughs> Until they're covered. Yeah. Well, like we're not going half there. a cup or what? Okay, so now you. So now we're just gonna take them out. and put them in our food processor. We're not gonna throw out the water yet because we need four teaspoons of water from the dates to go in there. Okay. Why not use it? Yeah. That's where all the sugar went, so why not <laughs> use it? Okay, there's four teaspoons of water. We have three tablespoons of nut butter. We're using cashew nut butter for this one. Okay. Whatever nut butter you use, it'll change the flavor a little bit. Yep. Yeah. Okay, an eighth of a teaspoon of sea salt. Yep. Yeah. Okay, sounds good. And we're going to be using imitation butter flavoring and vanilla. You get that? Yep. Yeah. Okay. So we're using a teaspoon of each of these. Okay. Now we're going to start our... Okay. And it takes a little bit to get everything mixed up and chopped up. So for this, I am going to use... I have like a little mixer thing. I can it fits in mine. Otherwise you have to keep stopping and starting to get it to mix. So you have to be patient with it and uh, keep turning it off and on and mixing it up with your spatula and you will get a really nice creamy Ooh. caramel. Yes. So what we're going to do is we're going to move this to a bowl and we are going to start melting our chocolate now. We've got a heavy pot with water on the burner and we're going to put put our chocolate in the tin bowl. Make sure your tin bowl does not touch your water. Wait till it boils and then put your chocolate bowl on top. This is the chocolate we're using today. Cameo! It's a semi-sweet, 55%. And it's got all the allergens free, like the top 14 allergens free, which is awesome. As you can see, our water is boiling. We're gonna shut it off. And I've got two bags of the chocolate chips in here. Chocolate mm. is nice and melted. Melty, melty. Look at that. <laughs> okay. So I've got an uncut piping bag. This, we get these things from Walmart or dollar stores. You can get them just about anywhere. Pour some chocolate in. Put 
missed the top of it. Okay, so we are going to be using two different kinds of molds. Okay. This is the mold that I used like to death. It looks really beaten up already. But this Back is. Back in the day? <laughs> yeah, all I, all I did was chocolates. Um, these hard plastic molds work really nice. And I just bought this silicone mold from Michaels. It's the deepest one I could find for filling. Okay, so I cut the tip off and we're just gonna fill the molds up. Okay, now you're just gonna take it and you're gonna bang it a few times and then you're gonna turn it upside down. Is that kind of protective? Well, you want a shell. Oh. So that you can, you have a a space to put, oh yay, I dropped it. Space to put the caramel in. Yuck. What okay. mean yuck? Yum. <laughs> Actually, I can just stick that on there and that will harden so I can easily get it off. So there's two ways to get this off. So we went splat, eh? <laughs> yeah, so one way is just you want to clean your rim off. So you can just use your finger and just clean the rim off like that so that you don't have over chunks. Spill. Yeah. Or you can just take a knife and go across. Ooh. And that works really nifty, slifty, too. Slifty? Proficient? <laughs> so that Efficient. works. Efficient. There you go. So that's ready to go into the freezer. And when they're hard, we'll take them back out. So they've been in the freezer about 10 minutes. I've taken them out and I boiled my water again and uh, put my bowl back on top and I'm gonna put the hard chocolate back in there to melt. So I did the same thing to this mold as I did to the silicone mold. You dropped in the chocolate? No, <laughs> not quite. No. Oh. <clears throat> Cause you've never done that from what I know. That's like the first for you. Yeah, that's a first. Okay, so we've got another bag and we've got our caramel. So we're gonna put the caramel in the bag as well. Uh, it is way easier to bag this stuff, but if you don't have bags, spoon works just as nice. And spoon it? Yeah. Awesome. And you just pipe it into the caramel, into the molds? Yeah, you pipe the caramel into the molds. You don't fill it past the Rim. The rim. That makes sense. Yeah. And on these guys, we're going to make a uh, pecan caramel. So we're Ooh. just going to take pecans and shove them on top and push it down. Sounds good. Okay, you want to stir our chocolate that's in the bowl. And we'll get that ready to be piped on top. That's a good thing about chocolate. When you have an overuse, you can always remelt it and go again. Okay, so now we'll fill our silicone molds the same way. You just pipe a little bit of caramel inside. That seems easy enough. Oh yeah, it's easy. Just stay away from the the top of the mold again. Awesome. Okay. You see how these have got like little tips on them? What you want to do is just wet your finger in a bowl, wipe your finger off, and then just tap it down. You don't want water sitting on top, but if you use a dry finger, uh, the, the caramel will stick to it. So then you just pat them down. Mm. Okay, so we're ready to go again. And you just pipe the amount of chocolate you need to fill the chocolate up. And the same with these. That's why you go a little bit under the chocolate rim. And then when you get them filled, you just give them another little tap to make sure that they've all cleared up, like they're all flat Flawless. on the bottom. Yeah. No bubble. 
And then if you do have pieces where it's not quite covered, you can just take a toothpick and push the chocolate in there. Being picky? No, you a want toothpicky. You, you don't. Uh, you don't want the chocolate or the caramel to run out either, right? Yeah. It's it warm. So there you go, and that's how you do that. Awesome. So if you want to try something like making a little turtle, take a pecan and cut it in half, and then cut each piece in half again. That's cute. Doodle, doodle, doodle. Okay, then pipe a chocolate circle dollop button. Yep. And put the legs on. And then use, uh, you see that? Yep. It's like half a pecan and put the cut side down. Put that in there. And then take your caramel and pipe a little bit of caramel on. And then take your chocolate and cover that up. Ooh. And make sure you cover the joint of the where the nuts hit the the chocolate as well. And there you go. Awesome. You got little turtles. Funky looking turtles, but turtles. Yep. That's <laughs> cute. Okay. That's it for that. We'll stick that in the fridge as well. Freezer. Okay, so these guys have been in about eight minutes. Okay. After we fill them. And that's what I like about uh, the clear molds is they get foggy on top and that shows that the chocolate's ready to come out. Cool. So then you just pop them out without breaking your molds. <laughs> like I've done many times. Just bang them out too works. Yeah, just banging. Yeah, they pop out. Okay, so that's those. And these guys. Yeah. You just Ooh. pop them out. And they're done. That's easier, isn't it? And these are like super cool too. Because they're easy to pop out. Okay, yeah. and then I got one more thing to show you. So for the fun of it, I thought I'd make a couple of chocolate bars too. Oh yeah. Because I've got the That's molds. Good. And there's a couple of caramel chocolate bars. I used to have the ones that had the little pieces that you could break apart. I think I got rid of the mold though. So there you go. Just keep on using the caramel up. You don't need um, pieces you can break apart. You can just eat it apart. <laughs> so just keep on uh, using your chocolate and your caramel till you're all used up. Hey, you see us again. Okay, so <laughs> I just wanted to say if uh, you're iffy about the imitation butter flavoring in the caramel, just leave yeah. it out. Okay. Because, um, I mean, something that you're not sure about, like we've never had reactions to it. Without do without. Absolutely. And this is amazing because now you've got a chocolate that's gluten-free, dairy-free, egg-free. You know the stuff that's in it mm -hmm. and it's safe. Yeah. And if it's too sweet for you or you figure it's going to be too sweet, then just use a different type of chocolate. Use a darker chocolate. Like the 71 that we use. I think it was 71. That yeah. we used in oh, like uh, one of the marshmallows. The marshmallows. Yeah. So uh, you can use the chocolate that we use from the marshmallows if you want a darker. Yeah, and it'll counterbalance the dates more, eh? Yeah, and it won't be as sweet. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you again next time. Awesome. Bye! Bye.